What's up, people? Or should I say, what's up? So I'm here reporting live in New Wave Hotel in Kucha Heights. Really nice hotel, man. Really clean and really reasonable price. It's not an ad, it's just a shout out because I really like this hotel. My mom usually picks this place and then the staffs are friendly and then the service, everything is just really good. So anyways, I got this. It looks like a phone. Is it a phone? You don't know. Actually, you know from the title. So I got this from Xiaomi. Or is it me? Because the store name is always like M-I and where's the sale? It, like Xiaomi in Chinese. Well, it's the same. Huh? You can find them at like stores with this logo. This is the TS computer glasses. So the computer glasses got my attention when I first saw it in like Indiegogo or Kickstarter because they, they have this new technology computer glasses for like people who always sit in front of the computer all the time or like always looks at their phone. So basically that's me. So it really got my attention but that is from the Kickstarter and Indiegogo websites and it costs like around 300 ringgit man. And surprisingly Xiaomi has one. Um, this costs around 100 ringgit, which is way cheaper than the Kickstarter and Indiegogo like computer glasses. But I'm not sure whether the quality is the same, so this video is to test out whether this is good or whether it's not. Or whether I should keep it or just put it in my drawer or something. So before I open this, there's like a lot of different glasses. There's sunglasses where you wear them if there's like harsh sunlight and you don't want the sunlight to hit your eyes and you be like going Asian all the time, like looking at stuff. If you are Asian, which makes you more Asian because your eyes will be like this. But for me, it's like, it's already a habit and I don't have to squint my eyes to look Asian. This is like a freaking racist joke, man. But it's for me, so I think it's okay. And there are like glasses like this, glasses or spectacles like this, which lets you see further into your future, which makes you see further with your short sightedness or see something nearer if you are long sightedness. So most of us know that we usually use these type of glasses. We don't really use computer glasses. We don't really use glasses that are built for looking at screens, looking at like blue lights from computers and like phones. So it's something very interesting. Then because technology are advancing like from time to time, we tend to put a lot of screens in front of our faces, which is very bad for our eyes and it causes headaches and it causes like, it makes your eyes harder to see like stuff. So these babies are built to protect your eyes from like blue lights and stuff but not sunlight and not for you to see further in your future so these glasses don't have the functions same as these but hopefully one day they have hopefully one day they can combine all these three together to make into one to, to make one ultimate glasses for your eyes and then you can see everything <laughs> okay so enough bullshit it's time for the unboxing i don't have a top down shot since i'm in the hotel I don't know how to do top-down shots, so I'm just gonna open it regularly. Hopefully you like it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. by the way, I'm using the 16mm lens. Uh, it's from my old Sony camera. I got it recently from my brother because I lent it to him for like a few years. And now it's with me again. So let me know if you're okay with like this um, view. Ooh, okay. Oh, so, so these are the spectacles. And then you have cleaning cloths, instructions, or notice. Ooh. Not for direct observation of the sun, like I mentioned. Not for protection against artificial light source. Not for use as not for use as eye protection against mechanical impact hazards. Not suitable for driving in twilight or at night. Okay. And what else? Pick a frame that fits your face shape best to protect your face from potential injuries. Do not wear the glasses when participating in sports events. So what I can take from the notice right here is that you can't really wear them like outdoors or like anywhere with high temperatures or basically anywhere outside. It's meant to stay in the room or indoors where you have like any air, where you have like air conditioning, where you know that you'll be in front of the laptop or like your phone for a really long time. So yeah, this is what I can take from the notice. And then you have the, uh, this is like basically, also this is basically the frames that the company TS is making. Then you have like different types of glasses from the company and like some beautiful models. Cool. And then you have, I think this is the case 
to put your glasses in. Okay, put this in. Um, I think you can fit it in your pocket. I think. Let me try. So these are skinny jeans. Um, I'm gonna try to fit it in. It fits. <laughs> Okay, so it doesn't really leave any footprints, so people wouldn't think that you are excited to see them. So yeah, um, with the glasses it might pop up a little bit, but we'll try that later. Okay, so the main event. Oh, holy shit, man. I get so excited when it comes to unboxing, man. Right? This, this is so fun. Okay, cool. Nothing fancy, looks a little bit nerdy for me. Uh, gonna try to put it on. Does that look good? Uh, I think it's okay. Because it's not meant to be worn outdoors so nobody can see me like this. Okay, so what's interesting about this glasses is that the frame right here is actually kind of, um, kind of, kind of yellowy. I um, don't know whether if you can see it. Ah uh, yeah, it's a little bit yellowy because now it's kind of blue right here. So if I put the frame over, it's kind of yellowy. I think this actually, how do, you, how do you say it? It has something to do with like the concept of white balance. Because if you're like a video editor, you know that if the scene is too blue and you want to make it more natural, you have to add a little bit yellow inside. So from our phones, phones and laptops, they tend to like release blue lights which these frames can really deflect them which makes it um how to say which makes the blue not that blue so it's easier for your eyes to take in the blue light so in a way it's gonna protect your eyes i'm not sure whether it will affect you when you're color grading because you want the colors of your pictures or your videos to be like as accurate as possible i can't really review right now i just got my hands on it so i will come back to you with the review after a month, I'm gonna put into the test of me using it uh, for my color grading, so video editing, phone using, and then do I have any headaches, how do I feel after using them, and how does it affect my life after a month. So let's say, so now it's 28th of December 2018, so I'll come back to you at 28th of January 2019. So the time we're watching this, it's already January and 2019, so Happy New Year to those who are watching right now. Okay, so I don't really know how this is feel yet, how this will work yet, so I will come back to you after a month. See you. <laughs> Welcome to 2019. So I was supposed to do this video last two days, but well, you know, life happens. Things always happen in New Year's. Okay, so new haircut, um, kind of chubby face, I don't know. So the same, I guess. But we're not gonna talk about me, we're gonna talk about these glasses. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, um, I'm still holding them, I'm still holding on to them. It's really good to use them. Um, the first day of me actually testing out, putting through the paces of extremely um, usage of the laptop and then the um, handphones, the phones, what is that? Handphones. It's actually really good. I can actually see the difference like um, the next day. Because for me, if I spend more than 3 hours or like um, my most insane time is like 8 hours on the laptop I get really dizzy, I have this like really strong headache I don't know why, um, some scientific things And I won't be able to have a good night's sleep So the day after that, I'll have more headache, I'll still have the same headache as the day before So every day I'll just have like headaches all the time Not to say that it completely eliminates my headache because I still have them from time to time. Silence on set, yo! But I can definitely feel the difference. So the good thing about this is that it eliminates the blue light from the screens like I mentioned in 2018. So yeah, I wore this every time when I'm like, con like when I'm editing videos and like, when I'm playing with my phones and whatsoever. I wear these glasses all the time throughout my day in, like, in my house. But I don't wear them like when I'm out or something. But one downside about this is, when it comes to color grading, the colors is completely off. You can't really color grade with these, so that's one of the downsides of this. Of these. But for me to spend around an hour, two hours to color grade like the footage, and then put this baby on immediately, it's like it's actually okay because like 
Because most, most of us, we are used to like looking at the screens like without the glasses anyways. So I didn't see that that's a big of an issue, but that's the only thing that I thought of when it comes to like using these glasses, just the color grading and stuff. But other than that, the normal use, everything, the benefits and stuff, it really is good. It really, how to say, it really helps me produce more, it really helps me edit more. Overall, I can eliminate my headaches and I can just do more stuff. Instead of worrying that I'm gonna spend too much time on the laptop, I'm just gonna worry about how am I gonna edit my shit, how am I gonna, how am I gonna do my shit. I am so proud of this purchase, I never regret it, and I think you should get one too. So yeah, that's it for me for 2019, so going back to 2018. Oof! So welcome back to 2018, man. We actually time warp from 2018 to 2019. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you 2019 me for sharing your experience to the audience, which I don't really know right now because this is 2018 me and over there is 2019 me. Thanks bro. Anytime. This is like a weird ass video man. Okay, so I hope you like this video. I hope you gain something from this video. Hopefully the review is good. I'm not sure yet. So you have to listen to 2019 me. And I can't wait to see what I can do, what we will be doing in 2019. Um, but for me, 2018 is really a good year. Um, I found myself on the platform YouTube and I didn't plan to stop. I will keep on creating until a point where I feel like I'm done with this shit. So yeah, it's been a hell of a year 2018. And yeah, thanks again to all of you guys for watching this video. And 2019 me again for reviewing these glasses and I'll see you guys in 2019 which is this year which is not this year actually which is the year that you're watching this video because now it's 2018 I, I, I can prove to you here you go I don't know whether you can see it and there are like a few comments on my 2018 post thanks man uh, I'm not sure who is this, I can't really see. So that's it for 2018. And yeah, hopefully you watch my last video for 2018. Which technically this is the last 2018 video. Which makes it the last video that you watch for 2018. Not the last one, this one is the last one. I'm not high bro, I'm not high guys. Okay, see you guys. I don't, want, I don't want this video to end man because I want to be in 2018 because this year is such a good year So I'm just gonna enjoy staying in 2018 then I wonder how life is in 2019 What, what am I doing right now? Hopefully watching this video feel feeling like an idiot Or editing this video feeling like an idiot thinking that you guys were watching this until this point that you guys are the idiots good year good year okay